listen to your heart. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Cindy and I want you to go floss yourself. So I'm doing fun and educational videos about dentistry. I've been practicing here in Canada since 2012 and as the owner of my very own practice, Horizon Dental, I really enjoy finding new ways to brighten lives and create smiles. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And just the usual quick disclaimer, please remember that this video is meant to be educational and fun only. It is not meant to be a substitute for a professional medical diagnosis or treatment. So if you do have any oral health problems, please consult your provider. So as we all know, February is Heart Health Month. But what I think a lot of people don't realize is that when your heart and your mouth are in a happy and healthy relationship, the risk for heartbreak is a lot less. So this week I wanted to talk about the connection between heart disease, inflammation, and your oral health. Now, gum disease or periodontitis is one of many illnesses where the body is in this continual state of inflammation. And this inflammation is actually a really powerful predictor for cardiovascular disease. Oral health and heart disease are also directly connected by the spread of bacteria and other germs from your mouth to other parts of your body. And they actually travel through the bloodstream. So when you have inflammation of the gums and a tendency for those gums to bleed, that means that those bacteria have a way of getting into your system and traveling throughout the rest of your body. And when these bacteria reach the heart, studies have shown that they can attach themselves to any damaged areas, areas where there are plaques or atherosclerosis, damage to the valves or the structures of the heart, if you've had a previous heart attack or surgery, different things like this. And when they attach to these structures in and around the heart, they will cause inflammation, which can trigger certain types of heart disease. Now, we know that patients with chronic gum conditions like gingivitis or periodontal disease, if this is unmanaged, they are at a two to three times higher risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. I honestly can't think of any other disease where you could reduce the risk of having a complication like a heart attack just by making sure that you brush your teeth twice a day for two minutes and floss once a day. Okay, so let's talk symptoms. We know that you may have gum disease if you have red, swollen, or tender gums, if you have bleeding when brushing, flossing, or eating hard foods. And no, it's not normal for your gums to bleed if you're brushing twice a day and flossing. If the gums are reseeded or pulling away from the teeth, causing them to look longer than they did before, this is another indication of chronic gum disease. And believe it or not, as the disease progresses, this can cause your teeth to loosen and separate, causing new spaces to show up where you didn't have them before. You might also notice pus between your gums and your teeth and persistent bad breath. So if you want to show your heart some love and take better care of your oral health, make sure that you are brushing at least twice a day for two minutes, floss once a day, however that means to you, string floss, floss picks, water picks, I'll take anything. <laughs> Make sure that you're maintaining a healthy and balanced diet with anti-inflammatories, antioxidants. Make sure that you visit your doctor and your dentist for regular checkups. And definitely avoid tobacco and alcohol use. It's as easy as that. Believe me, I know the change can be hard. But we're here to help support you in any way that we can. So for more information about periodontal disease, please feel free to visit our website at horizondental.clinic. And we also have lots of information as well as tips and tricks for optimizing your oral health on our Facebook and Instagram pages. And that's it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to like the video and leave me a comment below with any questions or ideas for future videos. 
And above all, do not forget to go floss yourself.